looking at the inside of the Kitchener Memorial Auditorium tonight. It's OHL action as the Guelph Storm are in town to take on the Kitchener Rangers. The Kitchener Rangers do a fabulous job. They play hard and they play to win. 7,000 people here every night. I have had uh, a lot of involvement with the Kitchener Rangers. Woohoo! Go Rangers. When my son started playing hockey, we started watching OHL and I kind of gravitated towards the Kitchener Rangers. What makes the team so special? Well, I mean, you've got an arena like this that's got uh, 7,000 people here every night, no matter what the team is doing, no matter whether they're winning, whether they're losing, these guys are rabid for their Kitchener Rangers. Friday night here at the Odd is the place to be. The community owns this team. There is no defined owner. If you look at the structure of this Kitchener Rangers team, that's why it's so important because the community actually, every person who's a season ticket holder, as a season ticket holder, I get invited to the annual general meeting. I get to vote on the board of directors. That's what makes the Rangers so unique and that's what makes this unlike any other team in the OHL. I grew up in Kitchener and uh, I'm, yeah, I just like the Kitchener Rangers. I love the team colors, the blue and red and the white. I think their arena is uh, probably the best arena in the OHL. I wrote an article about Rickard Hugh. Kind of talks about the transition from going from one country to another and suddenly you're playing for an OHL team. Just love the fact that the Kitchen Rangers are really have a community mindset uh, in kind of everything they do, whether it's uh, rewarding the fans with special events or um, players taking the time to speak with writers like me and winning is like a nice icing on the cake, but ultimately sports is so much more than that. Oh, I've been a Kitchen Rangers fan for 30 years. And I have my son come and my grandchildren come. They come all the time. The Kitchener Rangers do a fabulous job. They do it right from the start in September when they have it out here for the kids. And it goes on from there, the, the teddy bear toss and collecting tickets for this, the underprivileged. And, they raise money there, and sell tickets. They're just constantly, constantly working for the community. I've been a Ranger fan probably since I was about four or five years old. At the end of the day, no matter what happens to, with the Rangers, all the fans still support now, them. Liam Maskan, the Rangers captain scores! There it is! Wow! A minute 12 into the hockey game, and Liam Maskan the fourth They do a fabulous job. It goes on from there, the... the teddy bear toss. It gets really crazy. Like, I sit in the lower, lower level, so I always get hit in the head with all the bears. Yeah, teddy bear toss. Once you've been to one, you don't like missing them. They're, they're, they're neat, they're fun, they're a feel good, they're a spectacle. You know, it's interesting. I like to get fans all excited and as motivated as I can saying, let's get more teddy bears than the London Knights fans do because they may hold more seats at the uh, Budweiser Gardens in London, but we've got more passion here in Kitchener, so let's do it. And again, this year, a record number of bears collected. I've been a Rangers fan uh, since we moved here to, to, to Cambridge, and that would go back to uh, 2004. And now we've had tickets for a few years, and I'm just thrilled. It's the best way to start the weekend in, in Kitchener. I'm pretty passionate about the Rangers, not only because they're, uh, they, they're a hockey team, but they just give back so much in the community. I, uh, I'm just very fond of the Rangers and the fact that everything they do, they do well. They lead by example, and I, I think it's an exceptional organization. Tip of the hat to, uh, to every person in that organization, all the volunteers, and go Rangers. <laughs> the Kitchener Rangers are connected to the pink shirt awareness then the Kitchener Rangers will also help support and uh, raise awareness for, for anti-bullying. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, Adam Maskren of the Kitchener Rangers sits down in studio for a conversation as we go off ice. I have had uh, a lot of involvement with the Kitchener Rangers in terms of the work they do in the community. I have volunteered with them in the past, but they have also supported charitable events and community events that I have personally been a part of. There's no question that the, the organization takes its role in the community as seriously as it takes winning on the ice. 